Good day YouTube, welcome to Jervis Bay, one of the scenic coastal towns, scenic seaside towns on the beautiful south coast of New South Wales. Just going to roll into this lovely town on Jervis Bay. Where whale watching and dolphin watching are two of the big attractions. Just beautiful around here anyway, just looking out at the views and everything else. Just a lovely spot on the south coast. Anyway, just a short video today. Um, because last time I did, I went out and did a review on this bike. Uh, when I came back and watched it, I realised I was doing so much talking. I didn't do too much talking. So there was plenty of talk, but not much talk. Now this bike has um, a 948cc engine. Uh, puts out 111 horsepower at 8,500 revs and 98.5 newton meters of torque at 6,500 revs and I watched that video back and just realized okay I was so busy talking concentrating on what I was saying I didn't really get into the uh, talk or revs at all uh, so today I want to do a little bit of that obviously not here in the uh, center of town I'll just take you down give you a little glimpse of um, Jervis Bay here at Huskisson there's one of the whale watching boats. We'll come back and do a walk through town another day. Uh, there are thunderstorms forecast today so I wanted to get out early and do this before they start rolling in and the clouds are starting to build even though it's only about 11 o'clock in the morning. Generally thunderstorms you get a little bit later than that but uh, it's been pretty wet the last couple of weeks and I think it'll probably rain by about one o'clock. So it just gives you a bit of a glimpse out of Jervis Bay there. I'll come back and give you a much better view than that. It gives you a little sample of what it's like. So what I'm going to try and do is do a couple of pulls where we get up to around 6,000 revs, 6,500 revs. Just so I know you won't get a feel for what it's like, because you need to be on the bike for that of course, but you will get a uh, an idea of the sound and um, the vision, the visual. So it won't be perfect, but um, I'll do the best I can. Uh, this seaside town, if you're not from Australia, it's very popular with uh, Sydney siders or people from all over Australia um, and international tourists. A lot of the Asian market come here on bus tours to do the whale watching, they stop off at a winery nearby and things like that as well. Actually just before we do our first pull, I might just, um, just go down this little spot here. There's no cars coming, oh yeah I've got a while to do that. Just to give you a sample of the view here. a glimpse of Jervis Bay looking over towards Honeymoon Bay there. Loose gravel here so just got to be careful. Wouldn't mind living there with that view. Okay we'll get around there. bump and what you're going to notice is it's not just the sound of the exhaust that's great on this bike it's also that intake noise which is fantastic so this is just going to be a short uh, short ride so I'll leave it sitting on uh, in fourth fourth gear we're in the 50 zone but I'll just stick to 40 k's an hour at the moment just so when I hit the acceleration 
uh, you can get an idea of how quickly it goes up to 100. I won't count it, but you can certainly check that out while you're watching. And I'll just try and do a few accelerations just so you can see how quickly it pulls. So I'm holding back to 40, no traffic coming up behind. Didn't do a brake test either the other day, which I will do in the future. But we're just sitting on 40 now in fourth gear. And as soon as I hit this sign, we'll see how quickly we can get up to 100. Here we go. And the answer is pretty bloody quickly. Roll on in six now, from 80 to 100, very quick. So it's no slouch. I still describe it as more a uh, cruising bike, it's just the feel, the look, the shape, how you ride on the bike is more conducive to that, for me, which is the reason I bought the bike, so I tend to putter around a bit on it. Uh, there are other bikes that I like to ride much harder. But this one, um, I tend to just cruise around on it more, but when you do go through the gears, it is very good another go in a minute. I think we've still only got up to about 5,000 revs there, so when we say 98 and a half newton meters to torque, I think it's always interesting when you get a bike, I said this is 111 horsepower, so it's uh, tuned down a bit on the Z, uh, Z900, the Z900, uh, which is about 125 horsepower. This is 111, so um, at 98.5 newton meters of torque and 111 horsepower, when you get horsepower and newton meters of torque close in that number than newton meters being close, uh, I know my V Strom 1050 XT is around 100 horsepower and very close to 100 newton meters of torque and uh, a very torquey engine. So for a four cylinder inline, so for an inline four, uh, this is very torquey and that's the reason they've tuned it down just so you do have. Uh, a bit more of that cruiser feel, I guess. Now we'll do another acceleration when we get around the corner. Hopefully I'll do a better job this time. It's a 90 zone we're coming into. Should take you down that road sometime. It's nice and windy. So, okay, we got up to 7,000 revs that time. There's plenty more there to give if I've twisted it a bit more. But coming into a 90 zone, I didn't want to go too fast because I couldn't keep my eye on the um, speedo too well. So when we get back onto the highway, we'll do it again. Yes, I tend to ride this bike like a cruiser. There are other bikes I ride uh, far more aggressively without breaking the speed limit. Uh, just so I can experience their performance around corners and acceleration and things like that. So my two cruising bikes are this and a Honda CMX 1100 Rebel, which I tend to cruise, but both have got uh, pretty good torque. And the next bike I buy will either be a XSR 900 from Yamaha because of that performance and that style of riding or to the other extreme a, um, a Harley Davidson a standard a low rider S or maybe even the breakout the new breakout looks fantastic in that orange color oh wow that bike looks incredible now, I think I'm out of the 40 zone they're not very good at saying end of road work here so you're never quite sure if you're out of the road work or not 
front of the big, all the vehicles in front of me are doing about 80, so I'll speed up to that as well. The tyres on this bike don't quite feel right today. I think there might be a little bit under pressure. So I'll check that as soon as I get home. It's just not handling the corners quite as well as I would like. Just to feel a little bit of movement. Although these aren't the best tyres. Put some road fives on this soon and then it'll be much better when we do that. comes the rain, I think. Riding next to an airstrip like this makes me think, or reminds me of the Tom Cruise. In the original Top Gun. So it's fitting I'm on a Kawasaki. We better get back before that rain comes in with all the chrome exhaust and everything. I'm always a bit reluctant, oh you can see that rain over there, to ride this rain, uh, bike in the rain. There's a lot of cleaning involved once it gets uh, wet to be a wet road. that experience. 
experience in the inner car. With the rain on the way, I think I'll wrap things up there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time. I thought I timed this right well, but it does look like I am going to get caught in a shower, but um, shouldn't be too bad. Just don't want to do a lot of cleaning. <laughs> the four-cylinder engine with the headers, they are hard to clean when they get wet. This road's going to be fairly slippery now, so free now too.